Hey guys, it's Terry with the Covered Chipboard, and I'm here with my first craft along project. This is a haunted house, and we're creating it with the Cricut Maker Machine using the knife blade and the Cricut Heavy Chipboard that they've just come out with. I've cut out my pieces. Here is the back, the base, the floors, and the left and right side. And I'm using Eileen's Fast Tacky Glue. You can use Quick Grab Glue, either one, to um, connect the pieces. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is attach the back wall to the base. And you want to make sure that it's resting on top of the base and flush along the back edge. So just add a dab of glue along this bottom edge of the back wall. And then the easiest way I found to attach it was to lay it down. Now this is the side wall, so you're going to add glue to the long and bottom short edge. That's the long side and then the bottom short edge. And again, it will rest on top of the base and connect to the back wall piece. Now, it doesn't take this glue very long to dry, so the next thing we're going to do is put in one of the floors. And you'll want to add glue to one of the short edges and one of the long edges. And place it so that it rests just above or on top of the drawn lines on the side and back wall pieces. That's kind of your guide for getting your floors straight. Now for those who are going to, um, these instructions right now are for those that are going to simply construct the base and finish the outside and not worry about the inside. So that's what we're going ahead and doing right now is we're going to go ahead and build all the pieces. When you cut the side pieces or any of the pieces that have windows in them, you want to save that window piece because you can cut that in half and create a shutter for the outside with it. I'm showing you now how it can line up. So you'll have two pieces that are half of a window. So hang on to those pieces because we'll use those later. So to attach the last side piece, you want to put glue along each of the short ends of the floors and the base. And then along the uh, back wall edge. Add glue to the short bottom end because it's going to rest on top of the base and then connect to the back. And just sort of let it fall into place. Smooth off your excess glue. And then double check that your floors are just above that drawn line so that they're in the right place and your floors are straight and even. And that's it for the base um, structure.